Hey guys, this is Rick uh, with an unboxing. I just picked up this tablet from Sam's Club. If you guys can see it. Uh, it was in an auction. And the auction was for about $21. So I ended up winning it at $21, which I'm kind of surprised. The uh, shipping was about 10 bucks, But um, it's kind of an entry-level tablet. It's a 7.85 inch screen. It has a resolution of uh, 1024 by 768 HD display. It comes with an Intel Atom processor. It runs about, I think, 1.83 uh, gigahertz. And uh, it does include Android Lollipop 5.0. And it has 16 gigabytes of built-in memory and it can be expandable, I think, to 64 gigabytes. So it does have a front webcam. And the rear cam is a 2.0 megapixel, which is kind of a joke, uh, considering uh, a lot of uh, entry-level tablets come with 5.0. But a uh, family member broke my other tablet, which I had. It was an Amazon Fire tablet. So I was kind of, you know, I didn't want to replace the screen because the screen was almost as much as the Amazon tablet. So I decided to look around and shop and I, I was lucky enough to find this one. And I, I'm i not really an Android user, I'm more of an Apple user. But I did like the fact that my Fire tablet was, you know, had a lot of applications that I couldn't get on my iPhone. So this is a unboxing in case I didn't say it before. Um, especially for people that go to Sam's Club's uh, auction website and are interested in buying one but you know they're not too sure of how it looks because I've seen white ones on YouTube but I haven't seen a black one uh, the model number for this one is TM785A520L so let's see let's open it up got my kitchen knife here. <clears throat> I'm new to the unboxing game. Um, I know I'm kind of late. Should have done this years ago. But um, I certainly don't have the money to keep buying new stuff all the time. So this is the tablet here. Let's open it up. Yeah, this thing's hard. So there goes the box. Set that to the side there. And now we have a tablet here as soon as we lift the, the flap. Has a little protector up here. So the screen won't get damaged for shipping. And here's the tablet. Right there. <clears throat> Let's put it there for a moment. Inside the box, uh, once you open it up, you have couple couple of accessories here one being a micro USB to USB dongle so it's pretty it's pretty nice in case you want to hook up a keyboard to it or something and it comes with of course a micro USB cable to charge it and a uh, charger for your tablet so it looks like a general charger. It's rated at uh, 2 amps. So it's pretty good. Also comes with documentation, software updates, uh, Google Play updates, so and the instruction manual for the tablet. So that's what it comes with. All right. <clears throat> Now let's get this out of the way. Let's bring the star of the show. And like I said, I didn't really see any uh, black ones on on YouTube, so that's why I decided to do the unboxing. So as you can see, there's the front of the tablet and the back of the tablet. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the back. So that is the tablet. It does have the camera port. It kind of reminds me of a 
iPad mini except a little bit a little bit bigger so up here we have a USB port as well as a headphone jack input I believe this thing here is one of the microphones on the side, it's just like a little hole. On the side here we have a power uh, power switch, volume buttons. Uh, they feel pretty they feel pretty good. They don't feel really cheap. And right here you have your uh, flash card insert. Down here uh, it does have a microphone on the edge here so I'm thinking this is the microphone port but like I said there's one here too so I'm not I'm not so sure on the back it shows two speakers man this camera's not zooming in here so yeah it has the two speakers right on the bottom so let's uh let's power this baby up so let's take off the the display here, display cover, and let's power it on. Tell you the truth, it actually feels really nice in your hands. It uh, doesn't feel cheap, but we'll see after the review, of course. Never know, especially with these uh, low price products. So there you go, you got your Intel logo in there. I know it doesn't look from it from here, but the display is actually really nice. It's um, it's kind of responsive. Uh, let me set up my Wi-Fi here. So as you can see, it's still kind of booting up here. Uh, it is taking quite a while. I've been recording for the last uh, what, 30 minutes and it's still still taking a while I'm assuming because it's the first time it's uh, ever been set up so but uh, as I can see it already has kind of an ad up here just kind of says clean master uh, give it a try I don't think so uh, as far as one thing that I learned from uh, from Google is that a lot of the stuff that are is in that is in the app store is kind of uh, I don't want to say spam, but it could be spam. So you really have to be careful on what kind of apps you get on the Google Play Store because uh, a lot of the apps are approved and they don't realize that there is a back door to the device and can potentially be harmful, you know, to your data, to your identity and everything. So this is primarily like an entertainment device for me, so it's not really something that I would pick up and pay some bills with. It's uh, it's more of uh, like watch some movies, watch some uh, YouTube on here, and watch how my channel's doing, stuff like that. So that's mainly why I need the device, especially because my son keeps taking all my stuff here and you know uses it for himself, and everything's mine, mine, mine. So that's why I primarily have to get another device here and I want to give uh, Android a shot uh, since I'm always I've always been an Apple user for their iPads and iPhones and and the Macs yeah it's still setting up it's been about five minutes now I think alrighty guys so finally this thing uh, finish updating everything and everything is set up um, as you can see the tablets really responsive it's not uh, delayed at all it's not slow um, see so if I click on YouTube it's, it launches instantly so it doesn't take forever to load so it's it's not a bad tablet at all See, let's sign into our my other channel here. So, I mean, it's pretty quick. Look, it's not it's not laggy at all. And if I click on a video, like for example, <laughs> oh, 
a pumpkin video. <clears throat> the speakers in the back uh, sound a little tinny, but so today, guys, they sound pretty loud. Uh, So it's like I said, it's pretty responsive. Back to the home button. Uh, app switching is pretty quick. The top bar is pretty quick. And if I do it again, then you get the options for the Wi Fi and everything. Uh, Google Play Store. It's also fast, it's not uh, slow or anything. So, I mean, for a $21 tablet, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Uh, this is a pretty decent device, especially if all you consume is media. So, if you're watching movies, uh, HBO, Netflix, all those uh, programs, Amazon Prime and all that stuff, this is a good tablet for that. And um, it's not slow, as you can see. It's not a painfully slow like other tablets that I've used before compared to uh, one of my friends uh, uh, Curtis tablet that he used to have a while back and it's decently fast uh, the storage isn't a lot 16 gigabytes and one gigabyte of memory it's not a lot at all but if you manage your applications right uh, you know close off the ones you don't use and everything I'm sure the tablets gonna be performing pretty well um, in case I didn't show you, this is, these are the speakers down here, and they are okay. They're not the loudest speakers. They are definitely louder than my Fire tablet, which I don't, um, which I don't, uh, you know, knock because it, it is a great tablet. It's fast. It's responsive, and all I'm gonna say is this is this is a pretty good tablet. Uh, I'll give you the full review later on, uh, if in case you guys want to. Uh, leave a comment in the, uh, in the box below and let me know. And if you like the video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll be posting more videos up of our of my electronics and stuff. And uh, maybe I'll put kind of what I use on a daily basis here at home. And yeah, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. And we'll see you guys next time when I make another one. Thank you.